All right, so at this point, I do want some more not so repeated pattern to go on the other side too. So I'll put that on V to visualize. And then I'll put this entire mess on another layer. So that way I could toggle it off. Nope, I missed one. So holding shift and control, I can highlight all these and deselect those. There we go. Combine those. And then make sure that's going on this layer. Yep. All right, good. Uh, one of the one things I want for any of the factories is kind of a bay door. Uh, something that you could pull a car in. In this case, I'll separate this out and work on this other side thinking about that mesh. And I would say that would probably be a bigger mesh. Uh, and it would probably take up three of these. And I think that door is over here on this side. So this, this time I'm going to work on the other opposite side. Still working on that bug. Uh, I don't know what it is yet. I am running some other stuff on this computer, so it might be the fact that I'm printing in 3D over on my 3D printer or something. I don't know. Okay, so delete. Okay, good. Just making a hole here. Delete. All right, now for this, um, I want something that I can make this at any height, any width. So I'm going to steal this block and I'm going to make a thicker block. And that thicker block would have a different type of look to it. I would say that it would be some kind of metal of some nature and it could be a header for this garage door. Again, I could have it the same size as one of these. And that way I could just use it three times. And if I wanted the door bigger, I could just use it four times. Or I could size it up in the engine just as one piece, too. Lots of options. Good, good. Uh, now I need a mesh that's really long, like a garage door. Just looking at something I could steal as far as a... Let's say this over here. Let's shift D that. Modify center pivot and this would make it a nifty door. Always steal. Don't remodel every time. And you know that's kind of sad to say that because you know the worst <laughs> the one thing that these students really need to do is model. Uh, they you know for me I, I love this stuff I do it every day or every other day at least and it's good exercise the way I unwind, but for a student that wants to go into gaming, you'd be surprised on how many gaming students don't like to model. And that's that's like the biggest thing right there is learning how to model. I mean, that's it's huge. So if you don't like to model and you're trying to get into game design, I don't know what to tell you there. You're in a world of hurt. Okay, six on the keyboard. There we go. I like this. It just needs something, right? Um, in this case, I think it needs some windows. I love adding windows to things. Again, I could just add these over and over again, but it needs a hole. So insert edge loop, and I think I want that that look where it has the thin strip of windows.
just like that and start bridging it on up. Uh, you can use bridge in many cases like this so you grab an edge, 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 edge and then bridge it. You can do multiples that way. G on the keyboard again to save yourself some time. So first edge, second edge, first edge, second edge, G on the keyboard. G on the keyboard. Uh, and then again I'm going to look for something I could steal. In this case these windows look good. So mesh combine those. Modify center pivot, shift D to duplicate and I'll just make a smaller variance of this. That way I'm only doing this one set of windows over and over again. I'll work out different variances of it so it looks broken in some cases and not broken but it's going to save me a huge amount of time. Alright, and uh, D to duplicate. And once I get enough of them duplicated, I can just sh shrink them down. I'm going to have to do something here though. I'll have to combine them before I can shrink them. All right, now I would say that there's probably going to be something that stands off of the building just a little bit every once in a while. Uh, it's kind of like a pillar of some nature that separates geometry. So in this case, I'm going to make something that would be helpful for that. Duplicate face. Extrude that out. And I'm just going to put like a, a little bit of a pattern in it. And I'll make it about the same height as one of these. So if I need to make it longer, I can. I could just simply scale it up and it becomes longer as I want it, short as I want it. But it's a very useful piece for separating out weird parts. Like let's say this window and that door. Now I have a nice little transition between the two. Yep, there we go. Alright, so what we're going to have to do is the roof next and maybe some of the pillars on the inside. I don't want to add too many details on the inside of this. Uh, that would be a whole different model set altogether. But I will show you some tips that uh, come in handy when it comes to like bigger structures like the roof and repeated patterns like rafters and stuff in the next video.